Hi and welcome, my name is Tim Titchmarsh, Ironspeed MVP for .NET Architect .co .uk. We're a software house based in the UK. Today we're going to be talking about modifying your CSS styles in Ironspeed version 10. So let's have a quick recap. You may recall when you create a project, you choose the uh, application wizard, and one of the questions it asks in the wizard is the page style. And at that point you choose your page style and carry on. But of course you can change to any number of the page styles that are included with the Iron Speed. But what do you do when you want to change the style and create your own theme? You need to be able to take an existing one and then apply your changes. And that's what we're going to do. So my theme name is Dexture Trader. And I'm going to create a, a new theme. Um, and let's call it, just for the sake of argument, uh, Iron Speed. So what I need to do is come out of Iron Speed and find the directory where you installed Iron Speed is the first thing we need to do. Okay, so we've located where we've installed Iron Speed. I've gone to the Design Themes directory and found the Deck Chair Trader theme. What I need to do is make a copy and paste operation such that the directory is copied and as you see there it is with the name copy after it. Let's call it Iron Speed as we said. Any name will do. Once that's done we can go back into Iron Speed and we need to do the view refresh to bring in that new theme. We can then go back to our wizard page styles and if we look down the list of page styles we can now see we have the iron speed theme. Now I can use that thing but of course it looks exactly the same as my deck chair trader thing which actually I copied from uh, the existing Chardonnay thing. But anyway let's choose iron speed finish and it's just going to do a quick rebuild of the layouts take a couple of seconds to do that and then we'll be away okay so it's just coming up with the new theme and there it is new theme in place as you can see if you remember what the Chardonnay theme was it looks pretty much like that um, color wise layout wise theme wise what we want to do now is use that as our starting point and start making modifications to change it so let's go back into iron speed again Let's look in the uh, themes directory and there is our iron speed theme that we've just chosen. If we look inside the theme directory we've got two files, one called base styles CSS and one called styles. If we look at base styles first we can see it's quite a big file if we scroll through briefly and if you know CSS then you'll realize there's quite a bit of information in there um, and it's quite comprehensive, quite complete. You have quite a bit of control over most aspects of how the page looks, feels, fonts, colors, layout, sizes, etc. So this is where we would, you would think, start to make our changes. But hold your horses, we're not quite there yet. If we look at the styles CSS file, we can see that's empty. We've just got a comment in at the top. The style CSS is the actual uh, st uh, themes that you change. The style sheet that you change is the styles. Don't change the base styles, okay? Because when you do upgrades to Iron Speed, that will get overwritten. You don't want your changes being lost. By putting your changes into the styles.css, they will at runtime supersede those that are in the base styles. It's the cascading effect. So those that are lower down have the ultimate say of the style that gets that gets used. So let's for example say we want to go back to our base styles and here's the style that Iron Speed uses for its background. Okay, And they've set the background color uh, to this value. What we want to do for example is set the background color red just so that we can see the effect of our change. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, comment out the change, or sorry, comment out the existing value and put my change in. So let's call it red, for example. Now, of course, if you're going to edit the CSS, you really need to understand what the cascading style sheets are and how they work. So um, I would advise you to go to the uh, website do Google search, there's, there's more than enough W3C um, website 
which details all of the themes, all of the styles, all the layouts, all the different versions for all the different browsers. Well worth uh, understanding that before you start. You won't do any damage to the application per se, but you may make it look a little bit strange, a bit funny if you get the um, styles wrong. Okay, so we've changed the background color to red. Let's save that and run our application. And I expect to see a red when it loads up. Okay, now that's not red, okay, that is still the existing colour, so you'll be thinking, whoa, what's going on? What's happened is the theme has, or the style has been changed, but the caching of the browser um, hasn't. So what you need to do is just do Control key F5, which refreshes the browser cache, and up comes the re, uh, red style sheet. Obviously a bit bright, so we, uh, let's go back to what it was. OK, and we're going to change that. So let's go back to what it was and change that. Let me just go back to the browser. You don't need to rebuild, just do a refresh, Control F5 again, and we're back to our original. Now, of course, what I've done there is broken the rule of not changing the base styles.css file. OK, what I should have done is put that change into the styles.css. So what I'm going to do is do it that the correct way this time. I'm going to copy that class, the page background class, into my clipboard, and then I'm going to paste it into the style CSS. So at runtime, because I haven't changed anything, the net effects will be the same. What I recommend you do is delete the ones, the, the um, styles that you're not interested in or not changing it, and just change the one you are. So I'm going to call this one red. So when we run this now, this style in the background will overwrite, or over, um, not overwrite as such, but it will have sort of um, the priority over the style, or cascade through. So if you were to look using a tool that's um, built into Chrome, which I'll show you in a second, you will see how that cascading effect comes into play. So let's save that, um, and then run and then hopefully we'll get a red background again. Let's refresh and there's the red background. Now a useful tool built into Chrome also in IE and other browsers is the ability to view the CSS of the page. So let's do that now. So we go to our tools, developer tools, okay and what we have here is in Chrome little tool here as you move around the page it shows exactly so if I pick this option here and show me the background I can see on the right hand side what's going on okay and I can sort of scroll down and go through the page and as I click different sections I can see on the right hand side the styles that are being used okay it's really handy when you need to work out what's happening what's going on Okay, and there you can see the reference to the two style sheets, the base styles and then the styles. And because styles appears after base styles, that's the one that um, is effectively in. Of course, there's only one item in there, and that's the style we changed. So all the others in base styles are still effectively uh, there and working and uh, in use. So, very useful tool. Um, when you get style sheet changes that don't go quite as you think, uh, fire up this tool or the equivalent in IE, um, and it will save you a lot of time uh, understanding exactly what the uh, style in play is. Okay, so that's how you change styles. Obviously, you can go back in um, and go through uh, other style changes. You may want to change the font size. Again, that's how you do it here. So to recap, copy the style from the base styles, paste it into the styles, then delete the entries you don't want, and then change the one that you do want. I'm going to change that back. Let's call it a nice green, just to show you. Again, we don't have to build as such, because as long as we save, because the styles aren't built per se, they're just read in from the browser. Okay, Control F5, and then up comes the uh, the new background. And as I say, any of the 
dials, any of the layout on the page can be changed using that theme. Well, I hope you found that useful. Have fun experiment and um, look forward to talking to you soon.